You wanted a drum machine. I did. And I made you one. Really? Okay. Yes. It is uh, made out of some wood, an old tin can, an <laughs> Arduino, okay. uh, some glue, some hope. Sounds terrible. No, it's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. All right, let's check it out. What do we have here? Here we go. Uh, I'll let you open it. Okay. It does have a tin can. Some assembly required. Okay. All right. Let's see how much of it doesn't work since I've moved it. So what is going on here? This wire is not connected to anything. That doesn't seem right. Well, it's not, no, yeah, that's. Ah, thank you. Okay, nothing to see here. Now. What is, <laughs> that's awesome. What is it doing? It's literally hitting the can. Okay. Oh, the, it, this is not a can, this is a drum. I, oh. I tuned it with some fabric. <laughs> okay to give it that good kick drum okay, feel. Okay, so is this like supposed to be the hi-hat, this little L yeah. back? This is the kick drum, the can? Yes. Okay, and then what else What else are we hearing here? Snare. The snare. Yeah, it's like got the oh, snare. So I dampened it with a little bit of uh, okay. scotch tape. Okay. We'll start here. Okay. This is an Arduino Nano, and I've got it connected to a board that has a bunch of relays on it. Mm -hmm. and, and then that's taking the nine or 12 volts, I can't remember, from the power supply to the solenoids. And so this is kind of turning that on really, really fast. So the solenoids, it's got this spring on it and then there's an electromagnet and when the power goes to the magnet, it gets sucked forward. And then when you turn it off, it, it shoots back. So I built these little clamps because what was important was to be able to kind of move them and tune them. Sure. All of these needed to be fine-tuned in some way. Okay. Not fine-tuned, but like tuned a little bit so that they don't sound too bad. And you can kind of loosen this up and then move the solenoid back and forth until it's like hitting this symbol. By sure. the way, this is a hi-hat. Got it, yes, that's a hi-hat. Uh, yep. At the optimal place. Ignore the uh, wires that are just kind of wrapped together. <laughs> uh, I was going fast. So the Arduino, you've got the, the relay board, power supply that's that's going to the solenoids. And this is just, you know, it's just close. It's like a switch, like moving a switch really fast. I printed these brackets and I made these out of like an old broom <laughs> and just glued them to the thing. The only other tricky bit is kind of what's happening here. Yeah, so yeah, what, what's tricky about that? This Arduino doesn't have a functionality that's found in some other Arduinos where it can be a MIDI device. It can okay. enumerate, I think, as a MIDI device. Mm -hmm. I don't okay. know if that's super accurate, but it doesn't have that. So it's sending serial data over okay. the USB and then it's interpreting the serial data and, and activating one of the solenoids. And so that's not MIDI. The MIDI ends at the software in the machine that translates it from MIDI to serial. Got it, okay. So, th so there's two bridges you can use. Originally I was using Hairless. This is a newer Mac that's no longer supported. Okay. And now there's just that someone wrote a Python script that's doing it, and that's what this is right here. Okay. Serial MIDI bridge. It sees the USB device. It sees a virtual MIDI channel. It sees Ableton. Ableton sends the MIDI to the virtual MIDI channel. MIDI channel sends it to the bridge, for this case, the serial to MIDI bridge, and then it sends serial information to the Arduino. The Arduino sees the serial data and then says, okay, and then these are different MIDI notes, basically 65, 66, 67. And that's it, that's that's the whole, th right. that, by the way, the, uh, physically building the thing was actually kind of fun and super easy. <laughs> this was the most complicated okay. bit. All this part, just actually getting it to see the data. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Again, super fun the entire time <laughs> uh, because I love this kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, well, and I can see like there's a lot of potential here, you know, in terms of like types of materials you can use. Obviously, you just use what you had lying around, but you could make like your own little symbols. You could really make a small drum that this thing hits, or or if you have larger solenoids, you could probably hit actual drums, right? So that's a really good point. There's nothing that makes us have to have these small solenoids. You could replace this okay. right now with larger solenoids. All right. And some of the things I really want to do, uh, you brought up a really good point. Okay. It's staying with the tin can aesthetic. <laughs> okay. I want to get a couple of bottoms and then put them together as a little hi-hat yes. and have it visually look Just a like, little... Like a little jump set. Exactly, that's what I want. I want, okay. yes. I want a kick drum, I want to put some snares. And so I, I, want, to, I want to build it out and, and have it be, uh, first of all, look a little bit more. Sure. Not that it's not beautiful. It, but it's it's very beautiful. It, it can it can be sure, more. Sure, exactly. Oh, yeah, but, but there's so much potential here, and I I could really see like not even really changing very much, and just using this to put solenoids on things you would never think to you know hit to create all sorts of new types of percussive sounds that you might not get with well, a traditional drum set. Funny you should mention that. Okay. That is a product that exists. Does have, it? Have you heard of the Polyend Perk? 
No. It's just like a really souped up professional grade version <laughs> yeah. of this. And you can see how beautiful it yeah. is. And here it is with a full drum set. So I had another question. Yeah. Can you hook up other types of uh, mechanical devices to this? Because I could imagine something that moves across this can as opposed to just hitting it. Absolutely. Okay. And Adafruit created something exactly like that. So they've got a bunch of 3D printed parts with these actuators, these solenoids, that allow you to do more of a, a drumming action with a mallet of, sure. of sorts. I went for simplicity and laziness. <laughs> No, and but this works though. This is cool because it kind of gives you more of like a drum machine feel. All right, let me give you two primers. All right. One, I mapped the kick, snare, and hi-hat to your typical impulse values. So if you can just drag mm -hmm. a kit right onto sure. here, okay. hit play. Oh, hold on. There we go. You gotta be careful. Okay. It's tuned. Sounds awesome. It doesn't. I mean, man, I love it. An author in like the sixties or seventies, they're like, you know, on, the, on their Just mechanical typewriter. Like this is how they write their novel. That's cool. Let's try this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's it's fun, right? Yeah. This is cool. I just see it as like you want to play bass to this. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so I had a ton of fun playing around with this thing that looks like it's held together with scotch tape, but I really got to explore the potential of this machine. I, I kind of want one now. Okay, okay good. I do want one. That, that, that's, that's, that's great. That's you know, I don't want to just like replace all these things and just try all sorts of different things that these can hit. The fact that you can hook it up to Ableton or any kind of MIDI device really allows you to explore with all sorts of percussive sounds that you can't just do, you know, on your own. Because in general, I kind of like drum machines better than drummers, so, you know, it's like. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that one. <laughs> so yeah. No, other Drummers other than me. Oh yeah, other than you. I mean, I play drums too, but yeah. you know, this this is better. Yeah, I dig it. Make some more of these. Should we make one of these? We should absolutely we should probably do that. make one of these. All right. So after going through this whole process, what would you change about this? Reliability. All okay. the things I would change are about reliability. Yeah. The weakest right now is the communication between yep. Ableton or whatever DAW you're using mm -hmm. to the device itself. Right now I'm using, you know, that virtual MIDI channel and then the MIDI to serial. Yeah, you need something simpler. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to put a MIDI jack on this. Mm -hmm. That way the Arduino sees MIDI information, does the magic it needs to do to convert that to pulses to the solenoids, and that's it. On that same theme, I'd like it to have one power supply. Right now there's two cables. And again, if I add that MIDI jack, it's gonna eliminate this USB cable. Yep. Just like how you were excited about changing the sounds out. I think adding a little bit more flexibility of the height and the position of the solenoids mm. and, and maybe even having some kind of clamp that can hold something sure. else and then you can strike it. Yeah. I'd really like to be I can almost imagine this like a little like tripod leg that you can move up and down and left and right. That'd exactly. Cool. Yeah. Or imagine a uh, a grid, like a, a plate where you can move them anywhere you want, mm -hmm. lay something down and then you can hit them from whatever angle. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd, I'd also like to, to fix a shaker to one of these mm -hmm. and potentially use a larger solenoid or at least one larger solenoid so I can shake something. Sure. I had an absolute blast building it. Nice. I learned a ton. I'm really excited to see what you do with it because I think more than anything, it's like kind of building something and say, like, okay, have fun with it. Yeah. And then I think that that's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to finding out how you break this. Okay, so when is version two coming? I, this might even be version six or seven, but when is, when is the <laughs> official version two coming out? I don't know. What we can do though is there's nothing proprietary here. Sure. We can share all of the Arduino files and all of the 3D files, anything that you want in the parts list. I learned a ton making this. I can't wait to continue to improve this and turn it into something potentially even more fun. I look forward to seeing where this goes. Yeah, me too. All right, I guess that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.